Hello, hello. My name's uh, Julia Quinn. I live on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, and I'm doing our project for the 12 days of Christmas on day two, featuring the autumn leaves. Now it is the 2nd of November where I live in Queensland, but it actually might be a little bit early for other parts of the world. So I hope you forgive me the day two, day one overlap. I've decided to use the lovely autumn leaves dyes and a couple of fun ideas to create a lovely multicolored leaf pattern. So let me get, first of all, my scrap paper here. These autumn leaf stamps are, are really wonderful. There's 12 stamps in the stamp set, but in the dies that coordinate with the stamp, there's actually 17 dies, and I'm going to use the smallest ones, and there's two of each of the designs. Okay, here we go. Now let me see if I can just um, dial up where we are just to make sure that you can I can see what everyone can see. Okay, so I'm going to use these dies and copper clay, shaded spruce and wild weed ink. Yesterday, Shirley presented a wonderful photo uh, tutorial using very similar colors with a lovely, lovely pumpkin stamp set. So we're both in the same mindset of the lovely autumn colors. It's not autumn here in Australia at the moment, it's actually spring. And we don't really experience autumn at all in Queensland. There's only really two seasons, the, the wet and the dry. But this year we're not even having wet in the heat. It's, it's actually, we're in the middle of it, quite a nasty drought. And lots of bushfires around the place. But I personally love these colours. I really am a, an autumn shade person. So I've used some of the copper clay there. I will close you up. And then I'm going to use the wild wheat and just using my blending brush. And I want to create quite deep color, very, very dark, deep color on my piece of white cardstock here, just in splotches. It doesn't really matter how you do it, just in splotches works just fine. And I'm overlapping them with each other as well because when you die cut and um, create your leaves, you can't tell. Okay, so I'm just covering up. Now is my shaded spruce. I love this green. I think it's a really beautiful. Originally, when I was making this idea, I was thinking I was going to do Christmas, which is why shaded spruce is included. Um, but then when I did the leaves, I thought that's not quite working for Christmas for me. But yeah, so these are the colours. Copper clay, shaded spruce and some wild wheat. Just making sure I've covered all, the, all of the cardstock there. Doesn't that look beautiful? Just looking at the cardstock like that is really, really pretty. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is with my water painter, which has some water in it. Give it a squeeze. Let the water drip down off the... And then... Just flick it and let water work on, on your sponged cardstock there, okay? There we go. And that takes away some of the colour from what you've done with the blending. Okay, I've got little spots and large spots there. And see how it's bleeding the colour away because it's water-based? I actually might add a little a few more flicks just little flicks around. There we go. Make it a bit more splotchy. There you go. Now I do want that to dry a little bit before I do the next step. And I am going to clean off my desk here of all the excess water so I don't get any water splotches on any other part of my project. I just have an old, old towel always on my workspace that I like to use. Okay, so I want to let that dry for a little bit. While that's drying, 
I will show you the next steps of the card that I've got here. Let me put that out of the way. So I have already done this part of the card and that's used the stripes and splatters embossing folder to emboss the front of my card just to give it a little bit of texture underneath the leaves there. Okay, so I've used the stripey folder there and I've got a very vanilla card base, just your standard very vanilla card base and I'm using copper clay layering. This is for the inside of my card where I've just put on thankful and this is for the front of my card with a grateful heart and layering the very vanilla onto the copper clay. So I'll just stick that together for you. So then we can work on the next bit of our card. Put that on there. I've just left a tiny little border of my copper clay with the very vanilla and use some dimensionals to stand that up a little bit on the front of my card. to you on my card there. All right, now we'll do some stamping. I need this piece for stamping and my inside piece for stamping. I'll just get my scrap piece of paper back in again and my copper clay and then my stamps. I'm thankful and with a grateful heart. Okay, it's always good to just squish that down a bit. Always good to tell someone that you appreciate them. I think it's a real gift to show gratitude. And I think that when we make a handmade card, it's a really great reason to send a handmade card to somebody, just to give them a random act of kindness and say thank you to them. Okay, so there we go. That's all the stamping on my card. The rest of it is all of the all of the bits and pieces for the creating the leaves. Just while I'm waiting for that little panel to dry, I'm going to layer my vanilla onto my copper clay. I'll close you up so I don't stick anything into that. Layer this one onto this copper clay as well. So that's ready to go. All right. Okay, I can pop you on the inside of the card. Oh, wrong card. You can see I've already done some die cutting with gold foil to create a few extra leaves there. There's the inside of my card done. There we are. Okay, now we're up to the next step of my card here. The next thing I'm going to do is with my silicon mat and just a bit of sponge, I'm going to add some liquid glue onto my silicon mat and use my sponge to just pick up the glue and just sponge randomly over my piece of oops, um, blended cardstock. Okay, so there's a little bit of glue all over that. And I'm going to bring in my container of gold leafing. Now this stuff goes everywhere. So I try to keep it all contained in this in this container. Alright, so I've got a little bit of sponged glue on there and I'm going to squish it into my container, trying not to disturb it too much and then rub off any excess with my sponge that lives permanently in my container here. Okay, there we go and we have lovely bits of gold 
on our paper there. I might add a little bit of, oops, a little bit more glue just here and get a bit more gold leafing there. There we go. It sticks to everything, this, this stuff. It's quite amazing. All right. Now, I do have to put the lid back on that. Pop you over there. All right. And then I'm going to use my those lovely dies that I put aside before. And can you see what I'm doing there? Die cut all of the leaves. And there should be just enough on this piece of paper for all of these leaves. When I practiced it, they all fit. So hopefully they still fit. I'm putting the large ones in first. There we go. And then the two small ones at the end. And one more. There we are. And wind that through here we go and look at these gorgeous leaves that we have here i got bits of gold everywhere aren't they beautiful excuse my inky hands but isn't that beautiful i just love the variations of color and the gold leafing just adds another beautiful element to it. So, just, um, my cardstock's still a little bit damp. So I would recommend when you're taking these out, take them from the stem end so you've got less chance of ripping them. Here we go. And last one. There you go. Okay. There's my autumn leaves all ready to go. I'm just going to flip them all over. And add some. Just a dimensional to the back of each of them big dimensionals for the big ones. Oh no, I could probably use big dimensionals for the rest of them. Just need to get another sheet. Here we go. Oh, they're mini ones as well. Okay. So mini ones it is. Mini and mini 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 Right, yeah. right, on my card here, I'm going to put my favourites up where you can see them so that they show off. There we go. Actually, go off the edge a bit this time. And create, slowly create a cascade of colour of falling leaves. Now, I'm sort of going to leave this space a little bit bare-ish because that's where my greeting's going to go and I don't want to cover up my pretty leaves. So. Oh. There we are. And the gold one. I might tuck you in underneath a little bit. There we go. Another gold leaf that way. And so my gold leaf, as you can see, is my sort of secondary leaves. I'm going to take you falling off the edge there. Another one here. And one more there. Hang on. Pop that there. Right. 
Now this is hopelessly crooked, so I'm going to go and take that off and stick it again. And luckily I didn't push too hard, so it's coming off quite nicely. But I can't have that being crooked. So I'll add some more glue and try to line it up a little bit better this time, hopefully. that oh I'm happy 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 okay and then the last thing I'm going to do last second last thing is add some of our gorgeous copper ribbon and fold it into thirds one two three a bit more maybe and cut and then Stick that behind my greeting, like that. Oop. To look like a bow behind, okay? And then over the top of that, I'll add some of my edge dimensionals to anchor the ribbon in place and to make my greeting stand out. Okay, one, two, and add you in the middle. There we go. The Grateful Heart. And the last thing I'm going to add is a few of our in colour glossy dots. Now, on my card here, I've used the wild wheat ones, but I thought I'd try the copper clay ones this time to see how they look. One there, one there, and one up the top. There we go. There's my grateful autumn leaves stamp set. And I did add an extra couple of leaves to the inside of my card, and also, some of the edging from my lovely die cut because I thought it was so beautiful I didn't want to lose it. Thank you so much for joining me and make sure you stick around for the next 10 days as we go through 12 days of Christmas sharing beautiful projects with you. Bye bye now and have a great day.